Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I know it's a little bit late, but I still wanted to make this video. Um, originally, I wasn't going to make a video, but I, I decided, you know, I was feeling a little bit better. Um, yesterday, I went to the gym and I, I like completely, completely fucked up my, my neck and I was in a lot of pain. Um, and I basically just was lying down all day today. And, um, you know, I, I, I got a little bit of rest, so I'm feeling a lot better now. So I decided to come and make this video talking a little bit about the changes to, to um, well, not changes, but the update or the confirmation of the next rebirth as well as the next um, Guardian Dungeon. And also talking a little about a bit about the price of the Heroes Festival ticket, because a lot of people are actually concerned about this. The... Heroes Festival ticket used to cost three dollars, and now it costs four fifty. I still bought it because I still think it's still pretty high value. Um, you kind of have to do a little bit of simple math. The Heroes Festival ticket basically gives you six hundred astrogens plus one hundred. So six hundred. Well, it gives you one summon, which is the equivalent of six hundred astrogens plus plus the um, bonus one hundred astrogens that it gives you for the price. Originally, it used to be three dollars. So you just basically have to divide um, seven hundred by three to get the price um, of astrogens per dollar. And that is, it used to be um, to about 233.3. Yeah, 233.3 um, astrogens per dollar. That's what the, the value of the old Heroes Festival used to be. With well, the new Heroes Festival being 450, um, you basically divide 700 by 4.5, which gets you to, I think it was like 100 and... Um, 100 and... 55.5 so yeah 155.6 actually 155.6 which is not too bad but it's still a lot lower value than before so you know a lot of people are saying like it's almost double the price um which i mean it, it is true but if you compare it to the other things in the game it's still very very high value uh, which is the reason why i still bought it um, it, but I think in the future, if they increase it anymore, it might not be, it could possibly not be worth it anymore because the value of the, like the new price, because right now it says it's on an 83% discount at a hundred percent of, um, where, where the price is 550, it might actually be like the value might actually be too low where if you buy, for example, like buy the gold pack or something like that, you might actually get higher value. Um, I haven't really done the calculation for the gold pack, so it's not really comparable. But I think if they, if they increase the price anymore, it might not really be worth buying this. You might actually be, um, if you're like a little bit pay to play, um, it might be worth buying something else instead. So that's just that, that's just some uh, that's just some, some simple math I did. You know, not really anything special. Um, but I think most people really just get this Heroes Festival ticket kind of because it's like super cheap, and since they increased it, it kind of turned a lot of people off. So. I, I do understand, like, if you if you feel like it's not worth it, um, it's really just up to you. It doesn't really matter too much. In my opinion, I think you can completely skip Heroes Festival if you really don't feel like doing it. Um, I remember when I I remember when I was progressing through the game, we didn't have these Heroes Festivals. I didn't have a lot of Nat fi Nat fives to use, and I basically um, took advantage of a lot of the rebirth monsters and event monsters that they put out, and that actually got me through the game pretty far. Like you'll see that most of my monsters that I'm, I've built up are actually rebirth. And, and event monsters so you really don't need to like summon a whole bunch of nat 5s to be really really good um like i don't even have an evil 3 nat 5 at all most of my monsters are really just you know event monsters although i have some pretty good light dark luck i did get some pretty pretty nice uh light dark monsters so i i'm a little bit lucky in terms of of that but i most of my runs like for dragon's b10 um a lot of my my um you know farming teams and stuff take advantage of the rebirth monsters that we have before so it's actually perfectly fine if you don't have the resources to spend um for heroes festival it's actually perfectly fine for you to save up and just rely on like rebirths and stuff like that um which kind of leads me to the next point so the next thing that we're <laughs> that we found out is the Rebirth for the next month is only going to be the Cocos. There's not going to be... Um, a lot of people were speculating that there's going to be like a bonus Rebirth like they did this month with the Hunters plus the two Light Dark Victorias. But I think for next month, um, they didn't announce that there's going to be two extra monsters. So it's probably just going to be all, all be Cocos, which, is a, which could be a good or a bad thing depending on how you look at it. Um, 
I think in terms of early game progression, um, the Light Coco is actually definitely, definitely pretty good. He's not the best aggressor in the world, but he is still an aggressor uh, nonetheless, which makes him pretty nice. And his skills are also upgradable, so you can actually make him pretty strong and kind of use him as one of your main monsters. Um, you get the Light Victoria for free when you play the game. You can kind of use him, use her with the Light Coco to make kind of like a dual tank situation and you can kind of use that for B10. If you're trying to run like a... Um, maybe like you can run like another healer and then another sapper or something like that. And that actually makes a pretty good B10 team. So I think he definitely does help. Um, he could definitely help some players break into B10 depending on the other monsters that they have. So he's definitely not too bad. Um, I think he's a pretty nice monster. He's not the best, but he's he's not bad. And the Dark Coco, I think, is still pretty good for like late game players because they can make use of his attack down and blind to make him like a really good debuff monster for for Titans. So it's still nice to be able to get like lots of him because I can put like one of him on every single one of my Titan teams. He's also very very easy to get to Evil Three because you know Cocos are farmable and Cocos are for rebirth, so it's going to be relatively easy. Um, the other th good thing about the Cocos being on Rebirth is the the Water Coco is actually a fusion material for for the Victoria fusion. So you can actually make use of the um, the Coco Rebirth to to get you a lot of these Water Cocos and do a lot of your Victoria fusions. Whether you want to use her to you know feed into your Light and Dark Victorias that you got from last month, or if you want to fuse the Light Anu, or or, or maybe if you want to fuse the Light Shiva or anything like that. Um, I think that definitely that definitely works. So yeah, I think I think that is that is pretty much it. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the the Dark Toad. This is also confirmed that he's going to be in the next Guardian Dungeon for the next month. I think he's an okay sapper. He's not the best, but a seventy percent chance to land two two turn saps is definitely not bad. Um, attack down is. Is all right. Like for dungeons, if you put attack down on certain monsters, they do less damage. It can kind of serve as a like a um, half of a CC because you'll still be taking a little bit of damage, but you'll be taking a lot less damage. It also lasts for two turns, so he's definitely not too bad. Um, stat wise, he's more of a tank. I would have actually preferred it if he was more of an attacker because then you could use him for sapping golden speed ten. Um, but if you're missing a sapper, I think he's he's a pretty good monster um, he's not like excellent but he's he's not bad either the other thing you can actually use him for is if you want to collect his pieces and you can actually um, use him for the light toad who I think is actually slightly better because he's a balance type so you can build him like kind of hybrid for b10 and then he can provide damage and provide sap and then he has morale boost to like you know spam that AoE sap but that's kind of a little bit of a, a little bit more of a late game team I definitely do want to do some experimenting with a light toad if I um, get the chance to get one in the future. I didn't actually get one at all when he was out last time. It was I was I'm regretting it a little bit, but it's not too bad. I think when he when he does come back, I can um, prepare for it. So if you're planning on building a light toad, you can actually um, farm some dark toads and kind of use them for for getting your light one to evil three when he comes back in the future. Now the other thing I wanted to talk about is the the rebirth, um, the rebirth for the the verdes. I think they're called verdes. Everyone keeps giving me shit for calling them verds, so I'm gonna call them verdes. All right, and I think they're okay. They're not like super strong. I think the strongest one is definitely the fire one, um, and then she's only good really for for titans. So if you're not at that point of the game, she's not really gonna be helpful t to you. So for new players, I don't really think it's worth. Um, doing the four star rebirth for these these monsters, I think unlike the light or dark Thor, uh, they're not like super super strong. The light dark versions of the Verdes aren't aren't that good. They're still pretty good, but they're not like super super good. Um, the dark ones are okay. Like she actually has really good stats because none of it went to recovery. Like you'll you'll see that she has pretty high HP, pretty high attack, and also like decently high defense as well. She also has sap, so you can kind of like use that in B10. Um, it's kind of more of an early game thing because if you have other units with like siphoning gems, uh, most of the time your your units are going to be spamming their second skills. So sap on first skill won't be that useful. But I think if you're running like um, you know if you just want to run her as your main sapper for for golems B10, she can actually provide damage as well as you know helping helping you get um, kill the drag or kill the golem um, 
if you have like for example you can run you can run her run like a light victoria light coco and then another healer and then the light victoria and coco's can like tank the damage and then your healer can heal you up and then she can be like your damage healer you can basically build her full attack and she can also help you sap the golem and kill the golem faster so i think she does have some uses um it's not but it's not like uh unlike the light and dark thor who are who i i think are going to be like always useful either all the way up to late game um the dark bird is kind of only for like mid mid early game kind of all right that's 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 pretty much it um <laughs> But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going I'm gonna cr try to grab as many fire ones as possible and just use them on all my Titan teams. Creator Strike is really really strong in Titans. Like this skill is just priceless. Um, and especially with not a lot of monsters, fire monsters having Creator Strike, they they started introducing some monsters with uh, Creator Strike. Like before before the the, the patch like last patch, um, the the Wuk there wasn't a fire Wukong. There wasn't a fire shinobi, so there basically w weren't any um, fire monsters with with courageous strike. And these new monsters are very very new, so basically only people who summoned you know since last last Heroes Festival are able to get these monsters. So unfortunately, I don't have those monsters um, as as Nat Fives. It's going to be much much easier for me to get courageous strike on a fire monster just by getting the the fire bird so I, I definitely do try to want to try grabbing as many of her as I can um, and yeah that's that's pretty much it so yeah it's, it was a little bit short um, but I, I I still want to make a video you know talk talk and bring you guys a little bit of an update a little bit of some information um, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video thank you guys so much for watching and peace out